Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 6 in the series Photoshop for the Complete Beginners and today we're going to talk about layers, alright, I'm not going to show you how to create layers and go into too much detail on the first episode of layers, but I'll try to get your head around it if you don't understand them. So, what I have for you guys is a little demonstration. This is the first one. Sorry, this one. So, what you want to do is basically don't worry about all this. What you want to understand is this square here. Imagine it being a sheet of glass or a transparent piece of um, paper. All right. Obviously, for this demonstration, and not completely see-through, but imagine it being. So, a layer is basically a see-through sheet of paper that you place on your image and then whatever you draw on that layer will be separate from your other image but you can see everything underneath it so that's where you gotta imagine layers are now the third demonstration I got for you guys <coughs> is this so if you pay attention to my layers palette right here I got my top layer which is this text called top layer then underneath that I got blue box called blue box which is a layer again so imagine it being a piece of glass and it's painted blue alright so if you imagine the top one being another piece of glass as big as my image here and someone just throw top layer on it alright so you can see everything underneath it apart from what's painted on it now I got my blue box, which is a piece of glass again, but someone painted a blue square on it. So you can see everything else behind it, but you can't see what's underneath that blue box. Then I have another layer called red box, which is this one right here. And again, same thing applies. You can see everything around it, but you can't see stuff under it where someone painted on your piece of sheet of glass alright so pretty straightforward and I have an other piece of glass or a layer which is right underneath this red box okay and you can't see that obviously because it's covered up by the red box so whatever is on top of your other layer is going to be if someone's um, if you added like a block color to it like this red box then people are not going to see what's underneath that layer alright pretty straightforward um, then I have another layer which is in between these white lines which is completely black and it is covering up my background here alright so you see this one got texture this one doesn't because it is covered up but because my um, red box and blue box is on top of this layer you can still see the boxes because they are, they are on top not underneath whereas my background is underneath that so you can't see anything underneath it alright pretty straightforward so what you can do you can turn off your layers with these little eyes on the left corner of them alright so if I turn off my top layer now you can only see the blue box that was underneath it alright if I turn off my blue box you'll see more of this layer that was right underneath it alright now what I want to do is I want to see this layer that is being covered up by the red box so what you can do you can just turn it off again and your layer becomes visible alright now if I turn this layer off as well you'll see this whole layer right and the reason for that is because it was underneath all these layers alright pretty straightforward but now I want to see my whole background I want to see my texture that lays be underneath this so what I want to do is I want to turn this layer off again which is on top of this so it's covering everything that's underneath this layer alright this is what you need to get your head around 
it's easy once you do but it might be hard at first and there's the reason why I'm explaining it. So if I turn this off my layer group will become visible and then I'll show you what's inside a layer group. Okay. Oh sorry, there we go. Right. So this is my layer group right here and you can see there's a lot of stuff on here and by this time your face should look something like this if you didn't understand it before because by this time you should sort of reach the moment of realization that you understand layers all right um so this is my layer group and as you can see it's built up from different layers what i can do is open up my layer by layer group by clicking on this little arrow and then you can see there are more layers inside it so it's just an easy way of organizing your layers so if i wanted to i can put these layers in a group as well by clicking this little button here the one next to it is creating a new layer the one next to that is deleting your layer i can create a group and then I want to place everything in here inside it so if I click the top one shift click the bottom one it selects everything and then just click and drag on top of that group alright so now if I turn everything back on I got another group alright and what I can do with this group is obviously when you have a million layers it's easier to keep your layers organized and you can turn them off by one click so instead of coming down here and clicking all these off to turn them off I can just turn off the layer group and it turns everything off within that layer group alright so pretty straightforward basically what you go imagine layers being is pieces of sheets of glass or see through paper and whatever you put on top and you paint on it going to be covering up whatever is underneath like this lake group all right guys so this is it for this episode the next episode i'll be showing you how to create layers and how to group them and different stuff like that all right so thanks for watching guys make sure you like comment favorite and like and i'll see you guys later